Well, 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 well there's a plateau to it. Uh, and it's an interesting question because uh, after the boom in 2008, I, when I was still active, right, I was trying to figure out what I had to do to adjust my game. And, and a situation came up that really helped me, right? I, I was playing a main event at the Venetian, right? And from like four tables out, right, uh, I happened to be at a table with, uh, with Isaac Haxton and, uh, and Justin Bonomo, okay? And it gave me an opportunity to actually sit and, and see, I'm, very, I'm a very disciplined player, and, and, and uh, I was able to watch them face to face, rather than see a few hands on TV, and, and do so for about three, four hours, right? And I, I learned what I needed to do to adjust my game to be able to be competitive with these young players. But it's a good question. There's a lot of old school that can't make that transition. That you know, they're just A, B, C players. They have no chance with these kids. These young kids are brilliant. Uh, uh, number one, they they can go to the logistics of the game and, and put up simulations, and and you know, their minds absorb it. Right. When I was teaching Jonathan, right. Uh, he made a lot of money in the sit and goes playing on uh, party poker and poker stars. And I made my fair share. But Jonathan was playing 10 to 15 screens. All right? That's one transition I couldn't make. I'd get cross eyed trying to play two. And, uh, but th that's where the mathematics of the game come much more into play. I'd, I think to give a, a complete answer, I'd say probably 80% of the old school can't make that transition. Hey. There's a man named Jim Boyd, who was, uh, uh, Mike could tell you a lot about Jim Boyd. We were room for 10 years. He left this morning, right? And I gotta throw him a bone if this is gonna be on Poker News. Everybody in the old school world knew Jim Boyd. He's, you, if you look him up on the Hendon Mob, so uh, nicest man you ever met in your life, and just a good old West Virginia hillbilly boy.